public, the front of my house is a bitch to get in and out of, you know. I remember Walker, he's 90 years old, he lives on West Lanier Street here in Lakeland, Florida. And he says, you've been there a long time before you put that gate up. I said, yeah. I got to thinking about that, you know. And I really did not want a gate on the front of my house, man, because it's easy to enter, easy to leave, you know, and all that. And now I've got a gate that I have to open and close. And really the reason that I put this big old gate up in the front of here with wood on it, wooden slats, is to beat back some of this noise here at Publix. That's really the only reason that I did it. And then when I put that wooden gate up there, it was just so heavy that I couldn't even pick it up, let alone Eva. And uh, we both injured our shoulders on that thing trying to pick it up. So I decided that I'd put a gate on here that was free-floating, that it would support itself and not need a wheel on the other end, you know, and that's what I did. You just slide the jack handle out, and boom, shut it, line it up. That's the only difficult thing. You have to line it up to slide the jack handle shaft back into the hole. And that holds it for you. It's real simple. It's a nice thing, you know. The front of my yard looks like really terrible because Eva put these pallets on each side of this gate. And uh, it's just a bunch of scrap stuff to keep this dog in that we found. And one day the dog got loose and Eva cried, you know, and I said, don't cry, man. I'll go find her. So I went out a second time, you know, I found her the next time. And then we discovered that she never wanted to go far away. Just a little while, you know. She would run off and like I told Eva, that could get her killed, man. Dog pound could catch her and bring her in and euthanize her, you know. And uh, so the dog catcher will put the dog to sleep and kill the dog, and she'll be lost, you know. So we can't let her get out of the yard, man. So Eva put up these uh, pallets next to this decent-looking gate that I built for us. and screw some other scraps to it just to keep her in here and, and it's working, you know. But I want to get some uh, slats, stockade fence or something and put it on the front of this uh, nasty looking pallet and stuff, which is very good material. It gets wet and it evaporates quickly. And I think that's how a lot of this wood lasts a very long time, like pine, Stockade fence. Uh, my stepfather told me that if you painted that fence, it wouldn't last long at all. And I believe that's because it absorbs water and rots out quickly. But as it evaporates very quickly, it lasts a long time. And these pallets are made out of oak, not pine. So there's some real tough wood. I want to put some slats on the outside of it to make it attractive looking and block out noise. Again, you know, it's not allowed by the code enforcement, but uh, it's something that is to the point that I can't even live here anymore. So if they have to put like a permanent lien on your property or something, uh, it really don't matter to me because I can't stand to live here anyway with it like that. And I have to do something to help Eva to be able to sleep, man, and to block some of these really... Some of this shit, like, shakes the ground that they're doing when they're driving off that forklift off that dock onto a trailer. Boom, boom, you know what I mean? And then she drives it right down here on this ramp, off the ramp. And, uh... They have to drive it in reverse to keep the darn thing from tipping over. So it's beeping, you know. Beep, 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 beep. And it's it's extremely loud when they're doing it right out here in the street, y'all. I mean, it's uh, hell, man. It looks like 12 foot away from this fence right here, my front yard. It's 
like extremely close here. And uh, I just think Publix should obey the noise ordinance not to be doing this stuff, man, at, after 10 p.m. until 6 a.m. Beyond that, I could care less because that's the law. I believe in the law. I don't know why y'all would not respect the fact that I believe in the law and I have lived by it always. And I, I live by it. I tell you the truth, I really do. And I want you guys to know, and, and a lot of them guys that, that work over here at the print shop in Lakeland, Florida, for public, they know that I can play guitar a little bit and I like to rock out. I've got these humongous 15-inch subwoofers with PA bull horns on them. And they blast, you know, concert loudness, man. And uh, and I've jammed them plenty of times, you know, but I don't do it after 10 p.m. Because for one thing, they want to shut me down and send the police over here even before 10 p.m. So you see how it is here in the United States, man? They come out here at 8 o'clock or 7.30, whatever, and tell you to quit playing band music. What is more American than rock and roll music, y'all? And tell you to quit playing it at 8 o'clock before the noise ordinance starts. And then we'll have this crap. Boom, 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 boom. Beep, beep, beep. There's other videos that I have here of this forklift driving in and out of that door right there, right here in front of my house. That's ridiculous, public. That is wrong, man. I'm going to continue making these videos and uploading them to YouTube so the community can get involved with this and find out what's going on over here, man, and how they're punishing me, the grandson of a World War II veteran. And if you guys quit doing this and start obeying the laws of the land, I'll quit making these videos. And I'll delete all the other ones as well. Just make your move, man.